Okay, so I'm using Pick Monkey to create this in card. I thought about it and I think this is really the easiest way to do it. Um, might be easier ways, but this is the easiest way for me. So um, if you do not have Pick Monkey, you can go to sociallynina.com slash Pick Monkey and sign up for a free account. I would suggest that you get the Royale, which is only $4.99 and gives you extra um, features. If you don't know how to use PicMonkey, I would suggest that you either one, go through my full tutorial, which I will include the link below as well as a link somewhere on the screen. Um, and also, or if you start out doing the thumbnail, um, YouTube thumbnails, it's uh, you can go over that, and that gives you a quick overview. Checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way, you won't miss a single hot new video. Some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a picture of this, so I have something to go off of. Um, and I just want to kind of look around. So he has a subscribe button here, subscribe button, subscribe. This is a click to link, click to link. Um, these are all links. So these are hotspots. Um, I think that's the official name, but they're hotspots. But see how that goes to his Twitter, Instagram, etc. These are all to other videos, subscribe, etc. The whole point of this is you want people to do something. You want to give them a call to action. Now, not everyone goes to the end of your video and actually watches it. But if they do, you want to give them something to do next, okay? So let's recreate this. And the size we're going to use is going to be 1280 by 720. Look at that. It's already in there because I do that a lot. All right. So now we have our end card. I am going to ex I'm going to assume you know your brand colors. If not, you can grab them and again, um, just put them in there for your canvas color. Um, if you don't start off here, this is under basic edits and canvas color. Since Steve Harvey um, had like an image in the background, um, which I'll show you now. So since he had an image in the background with like a color overlay, I'm going to actually do that first. Okay, this is a photo of me, um, not like the one of Steve Harvey, but um, close enough. It's gonna be, I needed something that showed me on the right hand side. So um, yeah, this is me in the city in Atlanta. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, I'm making it a little bit bigger because I noticed his was over to the side a little bit more. I'm gonna look on my phone because I took a snapshot of it also to help me create this. Okay, I think this is good enough. I just kept on stretching it. I use the corners here to resize it. If you see the four arrows, that means move. Two arrows is resize. Okay, so I have it over the corner as much as it I can. Just resize it one more time. Every time I resize it, I move it. I'm gonna push the combine all image elements, so that means when I click on it, it doesn't move. I'm also gonna save it as the background just in case I make a mistake. Um, I don't know where it's saving, but we're just gonna save it there. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Now, um, he has that little blue kind of overlay on that. That's super duper easy. I'm gonna click on the overlays, which it looks like I'm on mark already here. Um, I'm gonna click on um, a shape. So I'm gonna do the rectangle. Again, you could drag it and resize it. Move over here so I can drag it a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna pick my brand color. But you can't see me. So there's a couple things. I could do add, I can do darken. Just trying to see if any of these worked um, in a way that would kind of, that can kind of do it if I do the screen. but. Really the easiest way is just to go fade. See how it kind of fades in? So even that with maybe, I'm wondering if I could do a little bit of both. Eh, that might work. Um, you don't want it to look, you don't want to see it too much in the background. So um, I think instead of just doing that, I'm just gonna fade it. 
yeah so that's good combine all layers again at the top right right again I'm gonna save it and really I'm just saving it just in case I make a mistake I haven't done this in card before um, so I just don't want to make a mistake and have to start all over okay so let me just look at my image I know we have a couple boxes yes so I'm just gonna make one two three oops let's just do one and actually I will let's go ahead and, and make the middle transparent right I think I'm trying to think if I want black or if I want white like he had so the outline is the top part so I can do the outline yeah I'm gonna keep it um, as white so there's a little bit of space at the top right for the logo up here and then this was kind of the video did he have yeah there's room on the side logo at the top and I think I'm gonna and actually before I do this let me delete this I'm gonna do another box even though you can't you're not gonna be able to see it once we put the boxes show you a quick trip I'm gonna make this the same color Not as much. Right? And then I'm gonna use the eraser. I'm gonna all the way up for the hardness and size. And then I'm just going to, oops, no, 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 no. All the way up for the size, all the way down for the hardness. So then I can just kind of, there we go. I just wanted that to be a little bit darker where you couldn't see the background as much. So I just did another layer, um, faded it, and then erased the round. So I'm going to combine the layers again. So that's all there. Okay, so now I'm going to add my box. Again, the outside color is going to be white. The inside color is going to be transparent. Right? I'm going to do the little box. But I do need to leave room for the bottom. He has a subscribe button, but it has to be large enough. Oh, we gotta move this over here because I need two more boxes. So I'm hoping this is the right size. There's another way I can do this. I can do this with um, in the video and do a box around it, but I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, now I can just right click on it and duplicate overlay dupl and then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So this will be for the smaller video. I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to have to stretch these videos a little bit, but we're going to go with this. So we'll do this, right? Then I'm going to fill, I'm actually going to fill this one in because that's what he has. Right? Okay. That should be black. Oh well. We'll do white like he has. And then at the bottom he has subscribe, but the top he has his logo. So that's super easy. Let's um, get those in there. I'm just going to type subscribe. Now I'm going to do my overlay, so I'm going to click this overlay button here to upload my logo. Click on your own and navigate to your logo. Okay. Okay, I went ahead and added the other text, changed the colors. Um, I uploaded some icons. I found the icons at, and I just did that from the overlays area like any other image. I found these icons at Icon Finder. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure it's the same size. So I can actually
Yeah, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> okay, that's a little bit of color there. Anyway, so I recreated the whole stencil thing. And so you could reuse this over and over again. The next thing that I'm going to do is use Wondershare. It's Fillmore Wondershare. That's how I edit my videos. I'm going to use that to place videos in here. I'm warning you now, I have not recorded the one where he says this side or that side yet. So we're just going to actually put these two videos in here. Okay, so I have Filmora. Um, Wondershare, Wondershare is a company. It's called Filmora. Um, I'm going to go to full feature mode. I will leave a link to how you get this um, in the bottom. This is only, I think, 40 or $50 a year. Um, no, 40 or $50 altogether. So... Um, compared to Camtasia and some of the other things that are available for PC, this was just a hit and something that I can ask um, clients to get and that wouldn't be like such a big investment. So I these are some of my other videos. I am going to import the video we just made, or sorry, import the in card that we just made. And notice I did a couple. I did some without the text, so if I want to add other things, this is the one that says complete. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. That's the one that I want to use. Actually, I am going to import the other ones also because I will probably need those down the line. Okay. So we have this. Clicking on this only um, gives you a preview over here. But if I um, click on the plus, it adds it to the project, which is down here. Um, I am going to drag it. I don't think it's going to be four minutes, but I'm going to drag it four minutes just so we have enough time. The other things that we add are going to be here. Okay, so now I have to um, add the little squares on the right hand side. Usually you see the two squares from, from Steve. So I'm going to take one. This one's three minutes and five seconds. You have to make sure it's long enough to last the time that you're speaking. I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. But I'm going to drag it here. If I were to just click on the plus box, and I'll do that with my next one, it adds it to the end of the video, but I don't want it at the end. So I'm going to click that and click on the delete. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and then drag it to the next line. Every time you drag one, it creates another one. So notice there is, and let me see if I can make this box a little bit bigger. I can make it bigger, but I can't edit, so um, sorry about that. So basically on the right hand side here, um, these boxes represent these. So I just have to resize them. So I click, see the little yellow lines around it? And so now what you want to do is resize them. And this is the part that I was said I was scared that I was going to have to stretch the video. So let's see if I did the right dimensions. It's close enough, right? You have to be careful because it'll look funky if you don't do it right. So I'm going to, you could stretch it. Same with this, resize. Okay, now we can look and see. I'm going to do a preview. One of the new okay. things you want to so, do on, on and starting YouTube. Out, I... So, um, both of these are playing sound, so I could right click and mute and right click and mute. Um, the pit, the video that I have here that I have not created yet, um, will be the one that we want to, um, speak. We want to, <laughs> that's the one that we want to hear. So let's go back. Okay, good. So the point though here, um, usually I move this around because I don't want them to be stagnant. I want them to actually, um, have some movement so that's good so we know here is where that starts so I might do that so I'm going to click this is this video at the top let's go back a little bit to where it starts moving click it and I'm going to click on the snip or the split excuse me I'll click on the one right before it and delete and move it over so now when it's playing you should see some kind of movement fairly early on Maybe I didn't snip it in the right place or split it. Again, we're looking here. Okay, so it's actually here. So we'll split it, delete, move it back. 
Same with this one. Um, let's see when we see some movement. This one's pretty long, so we can, we should be able to see. Oh, I see some movement, just not enough. So let's see if we can go right there. Okay, so I'm gonna click here. Again, split it. Click the one in the front. You can click the delete button. I'm just clicking my delete key and I'm gonna drag it over. It should snap. So now when you're playing, you should see movement here and you should see movement here. Okay, there. So it makes it a little bit more interesting for people to click on. Your in card should be like 30 seconds, maybe. Um, maybe a little bit longer, but there you go. So that's this, and so we have those. I'm gonna go record this um, video that goes there for you guys, and I will come back. Okay, so I created the last one. Um, I do have to edit the kind of how dark it is, but for now I'm just going to resize it. Okay, so my my video's in there, it's resized. Um, I just need to make these match um, the same, I guess, length of my short video. So I'm gonna actually go to here, click, cut, delete. Split, delete, split, delete. You have to delete or delete it or else it will keep on playing. Um, and it looks like Yeah. If you need to zoom in, you could zoom in and kind of clean it up just a little bit. So yeah, I made some mistakes, so I'll have to go back and add them. here okay now it's the perfect size I'm just gonna save it then you go back and you add your annotations on top of that action come on princess you gotta look excited thank you for watching the video um, go ahead and click here to subscribe and after you do that go ahead and click here to watch more videos me and princess are gonna go learn more snapchat come on let's go snap Doot, doot, doot.